Jarberg is one of the more cozy and pleasant locations that you could find in Elden Ring. Well, at least it is for a little while. And it features a quest line where you help a fancy lad and a little jar boy step up and become men. Or I think that's what this quest is about. I mean, I, I don't really understand how jar people age and mature. Like, do they get bigger? Do they have jar puberty? There are too many questions here. Let's just move on. I'm Jamie Latour, and this is how you find jar a potentate in Elden Ring. Jarberg's location is hidden away in the Liernia of the Lakes region. For a while, the map showed a road leading there from the Carrion Study Hall, but when you went there, there was a very clear chasm with no way to move forward. To reach Jarberg, go to this spot on the map. Then look over the edge and you'll see tombstones jutting out from the cliffside. Carefully drop down without dying and you'll reach Jarberg. When you get there, touch the site of grace and your first instinct may be to start slaughtering all these jars since every one of them that you've run into before aside from Alexander had usually proven to be hostile. But don't do that here because these jars are peaceful and they just want to sit and vibe around these pretty flowers. None of these jars will speak to you except for the small jar sitting on these steps over here. This is Jar Baron, who I've been pronouncing as Jar Bjarn because I'm an idiot. Thanks, Google. Jar Baron is essentially Jarberg's welcoming committee. Exhaust all of his dialogue, and he'll eventually tell you that Jarberg is searching for a potentate, aka a mayor or a leader. And it's also a fun pun since they all look like pots. You know, pot, potentate, you get it. You can volunteer your services to become potentate, but you won't get the job as Jar Baron will tell you that your hands aren't smooth enough. Enough, which is a weird prerequisite for an elected official. After that, that pretty much does it for Jarberg for now. If you rest at the site of Grace and then talk to Jar Baron again, he'll tell you that you can stick around and pick the flowers, which is good because some of these are hard to come by and they're useful for crafting certain items. You could also get some extra dialogue about his uncle, Alexander, who we've definitely met before and, uh, oh yeah, that whole thing. Maybe we won't mention that to Jar Baron. Now, if we want to progress through Jarberg's questline, we need to interact with an entirely different character. When you first arrived at the Round Table Hold, there's no doubt that you ran into this rich boy named Dialos. When you speak to him, he'll tell you that he's looking for his lost servant, Lanya! And he'll ask you to keep an eye out for her. As you wander around Liernia, you'll reach the Academy Gate Town, which is located around the Academy of Rey Lucaria, smack dab in the middle of this region. At about this spot right here, you should find Dialos standing over the corpse of his beloved Lanya. He'll tell you that some despicable fiends known as Recusants killed his servant, and he vows revenge upon them. As you may or may not know, the Recusants he speaks of are the denizens of Volcano Manor. Later, as you return to the Round Table Hold, you'll speak with Dialos again, who will inform you that he received an invitation to join Volcano Manor. He tells you that he accepted the invitation so he could get his revenge. Now we just need to get to Volcano Manor. To do that, you can take the long road west from Damanula, the Windmill Village, or get warped there by Raya, or take the secret way by getting swallowed up by the Iron Virgin beneath Rhea Lucaria. So you have a bunch of options to get there. Once you're inside the manor, speak with Tanith to join this evil country club and receive the drawing room key. Then you can open the drawing room to see Dialos! Hey, fancy meeting you here. It turns out that despite all of his posturing and declarations of the tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, it wasn't really that hard for Tanith to talk him out of getting revenge of Volcano Manor and talk him into joining it instead. He even tries to justify this act of stupidity by claiming that Lanya would understand his decision. Yeah, I'm sure her bloody corpse is totally cool with this. Now progress through the Volcano Manor questline and assassinate various targets, all while stopping in the chat with the Allos whenever you return. Eventually, he'll start to regret his choice to join the manor, and at some point he'll leave this club altogether. Once the Allos has left the manor, he should find his way over the Jarberg. If he's not there, you may need to talk to Jar Baron some more and rest at the Site of Grace a bunch of times. For some reason, resting at the Site of Grace is required to advance this questline at times, so just keep that in mind. 
he should show up inside of this hut, tending to an injured Jar Boy. Make sure to exhaust all of Dialos' dialogue and Jar Baron's dialogue. Speaking of Jar Baron's dialogue, by this time he should have mentioned something to you about poachers who prey on poor defenseless warrior Jars. Let's keep that information in the back of our minds because it's going to become relevant very, very soon. At this point, Diallo should have become the new potentate of Jarburg, since he has the smoothest hands of all as he's never worked a day in his life. So it's kind of nice, you know? He found his purpose in life. That's a, that's a nice happy ending. I can't wait to see how all of this goes horribly wrong. Just keep resting at that side of grace, and as you walk in the Jarburg, yeah, that's about what I expected. Yes, those evil poachers finally found their way into Jarburg and smashed just about every jar except for Jar Baron. You'll find him close to the center of the village, near a gravely wounded Dialos who did his best to fend off the poachers. Talk to him, and I'll ask you if he defended the jars, which, uh, I mean, you saved one. That's better than none, I suppose. Pick either of these dialogue options. I chose the nice option, and Dialos will die, Alos. Speak with Jar Baron, and he'll swear to be a great warrior and protector like Dialos was. That's nice, but maybe aim to be a bit better than that. Rest at the site of grace and walk over to see Jar Baron scooping up Dialos' body and putting it inside of himself. Damn it, why are all of you Jars so cute yet creepy at the same time? Speak to Jar Baron, rest again, and walk over to find what's left of Dialos which is his mask, which will go great with the armor that we got from his brother when we killed him. Did we just wipe out the entire Hoslo bloodline? Kinda dark. Speak to Jar Baron again, and he'll tell you that he's about to embark on an adventure to become a great warrior. To fully complete this quest line, you need to finish up the quest line for Alexander the Iron Fist, which we coincidentally have a video for up on the channel. You'll find the link to that in the description below. Once you defeat Alexander and got a hold of his innards, return to Jarburg and give them to Jar Baron, who will presumably stuff them inside of himself because warrior jars are weird, man. Exhaust his dialogue, rest at the site of grace, and in Jar Baron's place, he'll have left you the companion jar talisman, which improves the potency, I see what you did there, of your throwable pot items. And thus ends another sad Elden Ring NPC questline. But at least we got to help Dialos become a true hero worthy of his house's name, and started Jar Baron down the path to becoming a great warrior. Although that's probably going to end badly too, since he's just a teeny tiny little Jar Boy. I mean, we kicked the crap out of Alexander and he was a big old Jar Man. This little dude's gonna get so smashed. Can he at least do a Shuriken? God, I hope he can do a Shuriken. For more Elden Ring news and guides, check out the game Com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.